Hi, I'm Dan Leo. I'm here with Paquanic Junior Director and 8th grade and 4th grade lacrosse coach Alan Geisel. Your 8th grade team is recently coming off a 9-9 tie with Mountain Lakes. Can you tell us more about the game? It was a, a fantastic game, any level. Uh, we had peaks and valleys for both teams. We jumped out to an early lead. They came back, caught us. They went ahead. Uh, we came back, tied it up, went ahead uh, late in the fourth quarter. They uh, scored again to tie it. We went into overtime, first overtime. Both teams worked really hard, had their chances, but nobody scored, obviously. And it, you can only go two overtimes in uh, eighth grade lacrosse, and we were in the second overtime. Our man up had been pretty successful during the course of the night. We had a man up with about a minute and a half left, and the lights were on a timer and the lights went out, so we never got a chance. Uh, I would love to have the win, but you know what? All of those kids left with the, you know, not, you know, nobody had a really bad feeling about it, and uh, it's not a terrible thing to have a tie. I would have loved to have a win, but both teams played a tremendous game. Right. Now that you came off a tie with one of the elite programs in the state, how do you think your team's going to match up the rest of the season with their opponents? Uh, I think we'll do pretty well. Uh, time will tell with that. Uh, over the course of the past few years, we've been very uh, successful and we, we played with everybody in the state. So I think uh, our, when we get our eight guys clicking, we can play with anybody in the state. Uh, so we'll see what you know the, the rest of the season brings us. Your eighth grade team has been very successful over the years. What do the younger teams in the program have to do to keep up the success? A lot of them have continued with me. They have worked very hard to get better. They've really put in the time off the field also to improve their skills. Uh, and, and that's what we're looking for. Number one, we, we're trying to attract the younger kids into this. It's a fun game to play. The clinic setting is to, to expose them to the game, keep them active and moving around, which is important for any age kid. And then once they are involved and they, they're enjoying the game, they've got to put the time in themselves like my guys have. And uh, we're looking for the younger teams to do the same thing that this eighth grade class has done. And if they do that, then they're going to see the success also. That's awesome. Looks like you're uh, playing a big role in the development of lacrosse in the area. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I've been involved with Quantic Lacrosse since we started. Uh, Mike Cherenson, who was our president, put an ad in the paper about 10 years ago. Anybody interested in st helping start lacrosse, give him a call. Uh, we met in his kitchen probably uh, late spring, 10 years ago, and uh, Pequannock Junior Lacrosse was born. All right. I also know you're involved with Thunder and Athed. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Athed was started in the 90s by John Gallucci, who at the time was the Montville head coach. Uh, it started as a high school summer league and then has expanded into the fall, dropped down into the junior levels. And in the uh, late 90s, I think it was, they, they started the select team, the Thunder Lacrosse, which is a select tournament teams. They play in the Thunder. That also has expanded to some fall uh, tournaments for the players that want to. Um, John started the program, and, and it's really a, a family-type atmosphere. The whole family is involved with running Athed and Thunder, and one of the things that I like about Thunder Lacrosse is that, that family atmosphere. When we go to tournaments, it's not unusual to see 10, 12, or maybe more Thunder tents set up and, and all, the, all the different teams uh, socializing between and after games. What are the aspects of this game that are attracting so many people, making it the fastest growing sport in the nation? It, it's got a, aspects of a lot of different sports to it. It has the movement that basketball has on offense. It has some of the hitting that football has and the aggressiveness. It has the open field play of soccer. Same type of movements also offensively and defensively that hockey has. So it has aspects of other sports. And uh, one, one of the things that's really fun for the kids is everybody gets to touch the ball. Everybody's going to be involved with it. Uh, defensemen, not necessarily on the lower levels, but as you, they get a little bit older, get a chance to bring it up and shoot the ball. 
uh, actually play with the goalie post college that brought the ball down the field, went around the back of the goal, came around and scored himself. So everybody gets to be involved in the game, and it, it has that aggressiveness. It, it it's fast moving, it's fast pace. So it's a lot of fun for the kids, not only to practice, but you know, the, obviously the games are a lot of fun too. Lacrosse is growing rapidly throughout the years. Do you have any suggestions, any tips for the kids who are just getting into lacrosse? Uh, number one, try it. Number one, try it. Uh, I've had my, my sons try to play as many sports as they want. They both played baseball, and now they've chosen lacrosse. Uh, one of my sons has also wrestled and played basketball. So I want kids to get involved with as many sports as possible. Don't select you know, what you think you might want to do when you're a kid. Just play as much as possible. I enable my fourth grade team, third and fourth graders, to play baseball if they want to. I, I don't care. I want them to experience a lot of things, and they should not be specializing early on. And I've hear from college coaches all the time, they don't just want to see what a kid can do on a lacrosse field. They want to see what the kid can do on a basketball court or a football field. So it's not just specializing. Uh, once they do get into the game, it's just about practice. It's like any other sport. You're going to get good at it if you are practicing. But it's also practicing proper body mechanics, the proper form. Coach, that's awesome. We wish you the best of luck in the future, and I'd like to thank you very much. For YouthOne.com, I'm Dan Leo. This is Alan Geisel, and that's a wrap. Thank you.